He is another proud member of the official Made in Britain organisation. The reason we started manufacturing was because the company that we were buying and importing machines from in Italy and Spain went into receivership and we couldn't get machines. And the simple solution was we promoted somebody else's brand for 35 years and pumped all our time and effort in it and all you're really doing is selling boxes and servicing boxes. And I said to Dad at the time, we've got a choice here. One is that we go and find another manufacturer, we buy the machines and do exactly what we've done again and promote their brand, or we make our own. Now both he and I are both engineers, he's from the machine tool industry, I'm from the aircraft industry. I said, we've, we know what we're doing, we're stripping and building machines, we make special models, why don't we just make our own? And he said, do you think so? I said, yeah, I think so. I think it's the right thing to do. And I literally sat down at the kitchen table, did some hand drawings, pencil drawings, it was all it was then, no CAD system then. Went to a local sheet metal supplier in Coventry, got some chassis made, got some boilers made, bought some parts in and we started putting the first machines together. And that's how it started. Very small, very low key, but that was the start of manufacturing. And it was the best thing we ever did. Anything you manufacture has to have some form of standard. If you just make it willy-nilly, nothing's going to fit together, spare parts aren't going to fit, it's not going to assemble easily, you're going to need specialist fitters to put the thing together, and longevity and reliability of the product is going to be very poor. The only way to do that then is to engineer everything out of it. So if you produce components to a high level, a high standard, high tolerances, you will build in reliability. You will also reduce cost and to a certain extent as well because the machine will go together easier, you won't have warranty claims and your product gets renowned for being a reliable, strong product. And that's what we've built for Gino on. Yes, in the early days they weren't the prettiest machine, they were very boxy. That's completely changed now. We're into style and bar furniture and colours and patterns. That's what you can do, that's how the business evolves. But you have to make a product at the beginning which is so strong and so reliable, people go, I'm going to buy one of those machines, I've had it for 15 years, it's still working, it's still working to this day, I can get it serviced, I can get it repaired, I can get every part I want for it and that builds in that, that brand and that image that people perceive as quality and that's where the British quality thing comes in. In the early days we didn't want to promote the fact that it was made in Britain because the perception of British manufacturing wasn't good at that time. So we therefore used to use the brand name for Chino and people used to assume that that brand name was an Italian name and they used to say, I want one of those Italian for Chino machines. And we used to basically just play it down. From then, obviously, things changed and now we actually promote the fact that the machines are made in the UK and that they are a British manufactured product. You get this coming from the likes of Japan as well and China. They love the fact that it's made in Britain. They love the nice, neat lines, the nicely TIG welded and polished finish that you get. People are sometimes stunned at what we do. They say, well, is that really welded? Yeah, that's a welded finish. They're like, wow, we, we can't get that anywhere else. I said, you won't, because they won't put the effort into it and they don't want to spend the money on it. We're lucky here in the UK that we can produce these things, we can produce that high quality finish and still give you a product at the right price. I'm not saying we are the cheapest machine, because we most certainly are, but we certainly aren't the most expensive. But value for money-wise, I don't think you can beat us anywhere in the world.